Hey, hey everyone, Crabblepix here, and today I thought I would do something risky. I'm going to start another largest diamond painting. So, let me show you. <laughs> So this one, um, I had asked before the whether I should do the flowers or the Alice one. This is the Alice one that I was talking about. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see this too well, so I will include a picture here. <laughs> um, but this piece, um, it's the stained glass uh, Disney's Alice um, character collage. Um, it's got pretty much all of the characters there, Cheshire Cat, Queen of Hearts, Tweedledee, Tweedledum. Mad Hatter, so I've had this for a very long time, been wanting to do it, um, but I've been a bit nervous to do it. Why am I nervous to do a diamond painting, um, especially since I have tackled big ones, so the size shouldn't really be a matter for me, but this one I'm nervous because it's from Hua Can, and this was purchased back when Hua Can had those issues with their drills. Now, um, I ordered about five customs from Hua Can, did one and the drills yeah they did like everybody else's did they were too odd sized and they kept popping off and stuff like that so they just wouldn't stay and it pretty much wrecked that whole diamond painting it was very disappointing and so i've got four more of these customs and i did go back to who again um using the advice of many and i got new sets of drills for all of my remaining diamond paintings I don't know if they have fixed the issue or not, um, I'm hoping that they have, and I guess this one will be um, the test of that. So um, a few more stats on this diamond painting. It has 50 colors, um, that seems to be Huacan's favorite uh, amount of colors for a custom. <laughs> and this one is 90 by 60 centimeters, so not a small one, but hey. It's not as big as the peonies. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. If I was really angry with it or disappointed with it, I would just stop and continue on with the flowers. I mean, I will be doing both at the same time. But yeah, I just really was itching to find out if they had fixed the issue or not. I don't know what Hua Can is like now. I'm not trying to, you know, tell you not to buy from them because I really don't know what their quality is like now. But I know at that time they had issues for many people. It wasn't a once off. It was kind of across the board. So it was a bit scary. Um, I did already kit up um, and I only had two box, two of these boxes left from Harbor Freight uh, because the other four being taken up by the peonies. <laughs> Um, so I've got one small box for each of the colors and then the rest is still sitting in the bag. So I'll refill as I go along and I wanted to go, I did go ahead and try to put down a few of the diamonds, just wondering if I could see any kind of quality, but I think it's too soon to tell. So <laughs> yeah. So I'll just go ahead and do this um, with you guys, if you don't mind that I do two diamond paintings at the same time. <laughs> uh, my tools of choice, um, let me show you, are my Stabilo pen because I like using the Stabilo with square diamonds. Um, I tend not to use multi-diamond tips because I'm just not good at lining up the square diamonds. I may give it a try, never say never, right? Um, I've got my wax and I've got my tray with the chop door because I like this one. I don't know. And it's bigger than my other big tray. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I use basically for the square diamond paintings. And yeah, I'll just do a little bit of diamond painting now. So let's get on with it. Join me if you like. All right. See what we've got. I also ran out of blue tack, believe it or not, so. <laughs> um. 
How does one run out of blue tack? So weird. It has been a very long time since I have done the checkerboard pattern, so getting some fun back in with that. I can't wait to start hearing the clicking noises again. That's going to be good. I did see that um, this particular uh, image seems to be popular lately. <laughs> Uh, so I was like, well, might as well do mine too. <laughs> Although I was just really, really, really curious about how this is going to come out. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to tell early on. Like I don't want to get, you know, 90% into it. Although I guess that wouldn't be too bad either. Being mostly finished with it and... You know, then the diamonds are popping off. I don't know. I just hope I can tell sooner rather than later. Like, if this is going to be a bad piece, I don't want to waste a lot of time on it. Uh-oh. I think I'm seeing some nubs on these. I think. I don't want to go through and cut off nubs. Mm. I don't know. I think I'm going to be skeptical the whole time <laughs> I'm doing this. So I should probably just put it out of my mind and just, you know, just do it. Just try to enjoy it for what it is. It has been a very long time since I've painted with squares and they're going on crooked and it's bothering me. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Looking good from afar. It looks like a grid. It looks like there's a lot of space in between them. <sighs> don't know what that means. I really don't. But yeah, hopefully this isn't a waste. I hope. Because that would be a really... That would be really disappointing. <laughs> Did anybody else um, manage to save their Hulican diamond paintings? Star. The canvas is very clear though. Like, uh, of course it looks like a jumble, but the symbols are very clear. I'm impressed with that. But the canvas alone, you know, it's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. Hmm. I don't remember, like... The only other complaints I had heard from a diamond painting company or about a diamond painting company complaints that I heard before was that, you know, the canvas was hard to see or not sticky. I even had someone post in the Facebook group. Um, they had a bug um, lying underneath the glue. Um, so that was disgusting, but, you know, never heard where you, you drills and, you know, you trashy, you run out of colors, um, the trashy three tens. I've heard about all of those, but popping drills, yeah, that's a shame. Because that's a defect that, you know, well, I guess missing colors you can't see right away either, but I don't know. It's just really disappointing, I think. Wow, my technique is off. I'm going so slow. That's okay, I'm sure I'll speed up in no time. Click. 
But yeah, have you guys had any other major issues with diamond paintings like this? What are some of the other issues? Uh, oily drills, staticky drills, stinky drills. Mm, what else? Crinkled canvases. And I just feel like all of those things are kind of fixable, you know, for the most part, unless it's like extreme, which it could be, um, but I don't, you can't fix these drills. Like there, I don't think there would be any way I could fix this unless I go and buy my own drills you know, by all of the colors, but these are so big, um, that might get a little costly. Like, it might be just easier to order this this as a custom from someone else. In fact, when I ordered this, this wasn't available as um, a normal image, so I got it as a custom, but it's available without being a custom now, so I don't know. I don't know how this is looking. <laughs> I'm just, I still have my doubts. I'm like a spurned woman. I feel like I've been cheated on and I can't trust this company ever, ever again. <laughs> like I'm giving, giving, giving them another shot, but not fully because the trust is not there. Mm -hmm. Let's see, 17. There's so many pretty colors in this. I was so excited when I um, got this. And Hulican was having a sale. I think that's what it was. Hulican was having a sale. I think they couldn't keep up or something. And then just their quality just, just went downhill at that point. It was a massive sale. I don't remember how much it was, but it was a huge sale and I think they had a lot of customers and just couldn't handle it. And that's why I bought five. Ugh, I feel like they're already sliding around, but that's that's normal. Every little thing. I sneeze and I'm going to blame it on this diamond painting. <laughs> I got to be fair, I think. But it's hard. So hard. I said I'm a woman scorned. <laughs> it would probably help if I put them in the right place as well. Jeez. Okay, getting a little bit faster. Remembering some of my old tips, my old techniques. Just in how I hold the pen. <laughs> all right, looking looking okay so far. I mean, it's looking all right. I really shouldn't judge it just yet. It shouldn't be too harsh. See if I can finish up this color. I have seen that straight edge, that straightener, I guess, um, that you can use once you put down the diamonds, but I think you have to have a, good, a canvas that has um, quality adhesive or even the poured glue adhesive. Because I think on here it would just push the adhesive. Because that's what's happening, and that and that's what I noticed with some of my other 
square diamond paintings is that when I try to adjust it, I'm really just moving the adhesive up so it slowly moves back to that place that I was trying to adjust from. So I don't think those would help so much. But please, if I am wrong about that, let me know in the comments because I don't know. If that's going to help me line up my squares, maybe I should do it. I wonder if I can, uh, yeah, tell a difference soon. I keep saying uh, I want to tell a difference now, but I should probably do a substantial area first. Maybe even I can tell in this little section, or maybe it has to be this big. Who knows? Who knows? I'm just being silly at this point. Silly and paranoid. Not a good combination. All right, well, this was a good um, quick little session for me getting back into square diamond paintings. Um, please come along with me on this journey of Alice in Wonderland. And yeah, let me know if you think I'm crazy or not for starting another big one. <laughs> um, but I do hope that you have enjoyed this thus far. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that um, you are notified when I come up with more progress updates and such. And if you want to find out whether this hua can is going to explode or not, um, <laughs> please just uh, go ahead and click those uh, buttons. But yes, I hope that you are all staying safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.